Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back for another video. What I have here is the Govi Outdoor Lights Controller, which is in this video. It's for the 100 foot kit non-pro version H705A. We had a client whose controller was placed in the attic and in an area where the critter was able to make its way inside and unfortunately took a bite at the line and spliced it. Now you could probably make the time to make a claim with Govi support but for whatever reason you have no success at getting a replacement, these simple steps could help you get your outdoor lights back up and running again in a matter of time. So the items that you will be needing is a quarter inch to eighth inch white heat shrink tubing, what I have here, either with silicone lining or not. Some 20 to 18 gauge heat shrink solder sleeves. I prefer to use a product wire fee for this small project. I'll go ahead and place the product links in my description. You'll be needing some simple wire cutter strippers to strip away the insulation lining. And any type of heat gun to heat your tubing and solder sleeves. You'll be able to quickly identify which wire goes where as each line is color assigned by the insulation. Each wire fee solder sleeve will be placed like shown here, but first let's remove about half an inch of insulation to expose the copper wire. Repeat the same steps as you did with the first. Now with all your lines stripped, slide one white heat shrink tubing down the line before you solder your sleeves together. Next would be to slide your solder sleeves in place, spin the copper fibers to make a firm solid line and then slide a sleeve down past the start of the copper and where the insulation meet. Do one sleeve at a time. I'll start off with the red line and then repeat the same process with the others. To bring the wires together, I make an X by crossing them. Then spin both at the same time and then roll the wire around the line to keep it thin. Slide your sleeve into place over the center of your splice and by the solder ring. Heat your sleeve moving in a side to side motion to apply an even amount of heat. Inspect the sleeve to ensure a good bond was made. Continue the same process with the remaining lines.
Once again, inspect your sleeves, then move on to sliding your tubing over the solder connections. At first, it was tough sliding that tubing sleeve through, but once I worked my fingers around the sleeves while adding a small amount of pressure to the back, it eventually slid over. Try and cover all the exposed insulation with that tubing, then take your heat gun to it. Everything you have seen in this video can also be applied to your Gobi Outdoor Permanent Lighting install when it comes to making custom jumps from eve to eve, just the color insulation will be different on your light strands. Once you have heated the tubing, it should be a tight fit. Now let's get ready to test the controller with the lights. There you have it. If you haven't fried your controller, then this can be fixed. Most Gobi controllers are typical and so it can be applied to different models. If you found this content useful, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you guys for your support. Till next time, signing out.